they are second semester MBA program learners. In marketing management, we are discussing unit 12, that is on emerging trends in marketing. In the part one of this video, we discussed about uh, customer relationship management and e-commerce. Here, we shall take up the other two learning objectives. Uh, we shall discuss and we shall try to understand the emerging trends in green marketing. It's an emerging trend as far as marketing is concerned. Then we shall also discuss the emerging trends in social marketing. These are two areas in which we can observe some of the emerging trends. Let us first try to understand uh, the emerging concepts, emerging trends in the area of green marketing. Then we shall move towards social marketing. So green marketing, it is an emerging trend in modern market. As we all know, global climate and we all are increasingly concerned about global warming. So the corporate houses also have to be concerned and many times they are criticized and they have to embrace the green methodology of yeah, production, green methodology of distribution and they are also supposed to encourage the consumers to adopt <coughs> green. So consumers environmental concerns are real and that is forcing and the, plus the act activists are also there, the environmental activists, they are also making it happen that the corporates become responsive to the needs of protecting the environmental or this thing. So balance, so that is important. So global warming has been an emerging threat as we all know and this concern and ultimately has forced, provoked the marketers to embrace green and they will have to embrace and uh, have to imbibe, have to face the challenges as far as the environmental concern is concerned. So green marketing incorporates a broad range of activities. It might include the, from the supply side, it might include in the production that the carbon emission, it might include in terms of distribution, it might include facilitating the consumers to embrace green, sensitizing the customers, it might include product modification because earlier suppose the energy conservation was very high, the fossil fuel, we need to go for say clean energy, green energy. So it might require product modification also. There could be some changes in the production process, embracing new old environment friendly energy devices, production devices, packaging changes we can think about. So that because of plastic waste we all know and it could be in terms of modifying advertising also. Because advertising also sometimes if we go for digital advertising, if we go for mobile based advertising, the, the impact of the advertising is likely to be there at the same time that there will be some contribution towards energy conservation. Likewise, consumer expectations also as regards corporate behavior with the environment have been changing in a significant manner. And then consumers characteristics vary with regard to their environmental sensitivity. Here in this context, we can think about categorization of the consumers also. Some consumers are highly conservative about green ways of doing business, green ways of making their consumption and some consumers are not that sensitive, are not that responsive. So categorization we can think of that there will be some genuine greens. So these are the consumers who always think and act green to a great extent. They are highly concerned about environment. There could be some consumers who can be categorized as not me greens. Means these consumers are pro-green but moderately exhibit green behaviors. They do not always exhibit green behaviors but they are concerned. Then there could be another category that go with the pro-greens. These consumers are engaged in some green behaviors. Then there could be dream greens. These consumers uh, seem to care a lot about the environment but they do not seem to have the required knowledge of resources and to go to do something about green. Then business first greens, these are the business consumers that are business uh, houses. For this category the environment is not a huge concern. They are basically profit, uh, profiteering organizations. They would like to earn profits by hook or by group even at the cost of environment also. So they, for them business first, business is first. Green is a, could be a remote second. Then mean greens, this category of consumers claims to be aware of environmental issues but they do not express pro-green behaviors. So in terms of green, adoption, awareness from the producer's point of view as well as from the consumer's point of view, we can see different responses. 
So the categories as we have discussed indicate that concern for green marketing is there but the processes are not that uniform. Still we will find many companies and when you will visit the websites of companies you will uh, find the green practices of those companies. Some of the important companies which are mentioned in your self learning material so Toyota, SP, IKEA, PNG they have linked themselves to the environmental and sustainability programs. And uh, in this case, uh, one example is given in your study material that is about Nike, the shoe maker, famous shoe maker. So they, as, uh, they keep a low profile as regards their green marketing because say they use the recycled sneakers and their soles of the new shoes, but they do not advertise it, they do not publicize it, just as they do it as far as their business practice. So some of them might think about publicizing it, some of them may not think about publicizing it, but ultimately the consumers will have to be satisfied with the end product. But there is an emerging trend that green marketing has been a concern for marketers as well as for the consumers and other stakeholders. This is an emerging trend of marketing that the learners you should be concerned about that the learners you all should be aware of that this is an emerging trend as far as marketing is concerned. Then we shall take up another important trend that is social marketing. Social marketing is marketing for the cause of society. You discuss about societal marketing right when we talk about triple win, 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 win. The marketer gets the benefit, the consumer gets the benefit, consumers need it satisfied, marketer earns the product, product is sold plus the society, the third winner. Society gets the benefit because society also receives the benefit of doing a transaction in a socially desirable manner. So this social marketing is an application of generic marketing to a specific class of problems. Suppose in our country, pulse polio immunization. Polio was a big threat. So we have adopted, our country has adopted for about two decades the pulse polio immunization program. So nowadays we do not talk much about the threat of polio. Likewise there was a smallpox. So this requires lots of campaigning. This is a part of social marketing. So more or less we apply the same marketing, generic marketing principles, product price place promotion. But it could be like political marketing, it could be like industrial marketing, more or less all the generic principles of marketing but with a social cause. That is the social marketing main crux. So social marketing has a difference from other marketing because here the marketer with respect to the objectives of the marketer. Mar objectives of the marketer or the organization is to serve the society, is there to address the social cause of a society. So the social marketing aims at modification of behavior. It could be family planning, it could be for the drugs addict, NASA, is that it? We, say, we have seen the, how like, the advertisements against consumption of good car. These are all the important aspects of social marketing. So these are basically addressed at changing the behavior of the target participants on a regular basis. Suppose the good car users or like that or that say don't drink and drive. That is basically a behavior oriented right, action that you sense your behavior while driving or while drinking don't drive. So in the area of health social marketing efforts have been used uh, to reduce tobacco use, exercise regularly, prevent and control diabetes, heart attack, carbon spread of HIV, AIDS, improve oral health, uh, defect cons concerns early by self-examination, right? Suppose a breast cancer, is not it? That can be detected early by self-examination. These are all social marketing. So all these require changes in individual behavior. So basically social marketing for a variety of reasons, social marketing is one of the toughest of all marketing assignments because it is concerned with changing behavior, inducing people towards action because all this asks people to give up pleasure, say save water. You consume a lot of water right, while taking bath. So you will be saving while going for saving water. You will have to give up a pleasure. Be uncomfortable wearing a helmet. Wearing a helmet is must but you feel uncomfortable. So that's why you are not inclined to sense this behavior. Taking a colonoscopy, you feel embarrassed, is not it? Developing a new habit, say take the pool car, you will, that will be at your comfort. Then say learning a new skill, compost food waste, rather than going for own production, 
and the development of your own fertilizers in a bio manner, but rather go for, say, plant process from the market. These are all what basically aimed at changing behavior. So, however, this is an emerging concept, this is an emerging trend which is taking place in marketing. We shall take up the other two objectives in the third video. Thank you.